So we've all been there before. We're working on a video project and we're thinking, hmm, this looks nice, but we need some video transitions. Now sitting there and making all your transitions custom can be a pain in the butt because it takes time to do that. We've got things to do. So what I did for you is save you some time and I put together a free film berm transition pack that you can go ahead and download in the description below. And since it is Christmas, almost, it is the time of year to give. And if you're watching this in the summer, just pretend it's Christmas, okay? I put together this pack for you for free. You don't have to pay anything. So I'm also gonna show you guys how to use these on your timeline. It's super simple and it's gonna add that little pizzazz that you need for your video projects. So let's get started. All right guys, so once you're done downloading the asset pack, what you're gonna wanna do is go over here to the cut page. You're gonna wanna go click on this folder and import the film burns folder and then it's gonna be in our media pool. All right, and now I wanna make a transition between these clips so it's not just a hard cut like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my film burns folder. I'm gonna pick one that I wanna use. I'm gonna drag it onto the timeline and I'm gonna drag it above where I want in between these two clips. So what you can do to make that easier as well is go up here to the magnet or you could alternatively press N and it's gonna turn it off and then you can go and now you can drag the film burn transition anywhere you want. And now for a film burn transition like this, what I typically like to do is find the brightest spot, mark that, and then I'm gonna drag where the two clips meet. I'm gonna drag that right on top of there so that it's completely masked when, uh, when the transition and the cut actually happens. All right, so now if we play it, you see it doesn't look very good. And that's because we have to do one more thing. To click on this, make sure it's selected, go to composite, and then we're gonna go to screen. Now you can see that looks much better. So that's how we do it. If I wanted to go try another one, I could go bring this one and drag it on top. I can go find the brightest spot where I want the transition to be masked. I can mark it. Then I can bring that right to the center. Make sure that I'm on screen. And there you go. That's how you use this transition pack.